Howdy, and welcome back to the Texas Bucket List. You know, whenever we're on the road, we're always looking for unique places to stay to accompany these amazing one-of-a-kind experiences we find all over the Lone Star State. Our next stop is no exception. Located in one of my favorite parts of the state, Terralingua, you'll find a place to stay here that's one-of-a-kind out in the Big Bend. The vast expanse that is the Big Bend region of Texas is one of a kind. Soaring peaks, stretches of desert, and the Rio Grande. Cutting its way through the region makes for one of the most incredible sights in the entire Lone Star State. In the middle of all this nothingness is the tiny town of Terlingua. With a population of 110 folks, it's fascinating how many people are drawn to this desolate destination. But when you see places like the summit at Big Bend, you understand the draw. This is unlike any other place in Texas. It's still the Wild West. Billy Barco and his wife Jess created the summit in 2021, and in that short amount of time, they've built so many domes for folks to stay in that their little corner of the desert looks like a space outpost. These domes have king-sized beds and beautiful views of Big Bend, but if you want to lay your head down in something as hard as a rock, the caves at the summit have proven to be quite popular. The two caves really are kind of built for a romantic reconnecting trip. And I'm stuck out here with him. <laughs> <laughs> Billy and Jess both used to be commercial pilots, but they came to the Big Ben to start a new life on the ground. After one successful venture in glamping, they came to this piece of property looking to buy a Jeep. But it turned into so much more. For me, I was like, wow, like I never knew this part of Texas existed. Born and raised Texan never knew it. So this place has, has been special to me since the minute we, we got here. The previous owner just told us to drive up the hill and uh, drive around the ranch and it was just nothing but one spectacular view after another and 15 minutes into it I very jokingly said I want to buy the ranch. I knew when I first met him he was gonna be a lifetime of adventure. You're looking at Old Mexico to the south, directly behind you is the Lajitas Hills, and then off to the west is you're totally looking into the state park. It's just incredible. Construction began and when Billy came across the caves, he knew exactly what he wanted to do with them. The holes in the rock were already here. One of them was basically being used as a as a storage bunker and the other one is kind of a garage. So when you saw the cave right away were you like this is a place to put a bed. Instantly walked in and was like, we can totally do this. This is all it needs. And very few things in life actually come to fruition the way you see them in your head. Both of these, I would say, are very close. Wow, Jess, this is amazing. Yeah. Complete with a shower, bed, fridge, Wi-Fi, and a fantastic view. This cave is the kind of place where anyone would be happy to hibernate. What we really did here was we wanted to get bring the outside in. It was distorted as least as possible so that you, we could really just kind of capture when you walk in, you're not walking into a room, you're literally walking into the earth. It's either very comforting to you or it's not your thing. We respect both, but for us, it's just a very comforting place to be. So this is our crystal cave. Okay. Um, we named it that as you can see there's the the crystal is kind of all through the top here okay. over there. These caves date back nearly a hundred years when mercury mining was still going strong here. These are actually mining starts where they dug in about a hundred feet, uh, didn't find any cinnabar so they abandoned the holes. So obviously that's where they had the stick of dynamite. Yes yeah so what they would do is they would come in and they would chisel out just enough to put the stick in there mm -hmm. and then it'd blow it and and then they would just take the pieces right on out of here. Hand drilled holes packed with dynamite, blow off a chunk of rock, haul it all out by hand, mules. Several of the mines still have the narrow gauge rail cars. The tracks are still there, so they would haul it out in rail tracks. Like, I mean, just a crazy lifestyle. As you can imagine, building this in a place where the closest major retailers are two and a half hours away isn't easy. On one hand, it is the most friendly area to ever build anything in, and on one hand, it is the hardest area to ever build anything in. It's the hardest place because you can't get any materials. There's one plumber in South Brewster County. There's one electrician in South Brewster County. You may wait a year on the electrician to do anything for you. The plumber's $300 an hour. All plumbers across Texas, there's your there's your sign. Yes, <laughs> if you if you are a skilled tradesman, mastered license, please move South Brewster County. You'll have plenty of work. <laughs> what makes this stay in these caves so incredible is what makes this area so fantastic. The night sky. Of course, here's what it's all about. Wow. Oh yeah. That is something. 
The really crazy thing is the amount of stars that you can see at night. Oh, yeah. Like that's really the whole reason why you come out here, right? Is is the night sky. It's the darkest sky in the lower 48. We believe in the power of the place, and it's certainly not us. It's not anything that we've built or anything like that. We have some cool stuff here. Don't get me wrong, but really and truthfully, like, if you come out here, it's about the views. It's about the stars. You lay in bed. You wake up in the middle of the night, and that Milky Way is just in your face. It's pretty incredible. Well, they do say the stars at night are big and bright. Deep in the heart of Texas. <laughs> coming to the Big Bend is one of my favorite stops in the Lone Star State. And if you happen to be coming this way, caving in and booking a stay at the summit is well worth a stop on the Texas bucket list. If you are a true Texan, you were born in Texas, you vacation in Texas, and you die in Texas, why in the world would you not want to see all Texas has to offer? You do it so people can come out here and make the memories. Take it in, breathe it, live it, relax with it. It's just so fantastic to be out here.